Hey everyone, so in the last video I demonstrated how to have the camera facing an object even when the camera and the object are both in motion in different directions. And then at the end I had the cube face the camera. Now what that final step really ignored is the fact that since all sides of the cube look the same, it really didn't matter which side was facing the camera. But what if it does matter? So you can see we have a turret here. So clearly you'd want the cannon facing, say, the player. That if the turret is a fixed object, but it rotates to face, to face the player, you want the turret to actually be aiming at the player when it's shooting. Well, unfortunately, there's no great solution to this. So you kind of have to just trial and error. So what you do, I created this in 3D Builder. I simply rotated it until it worked right. So unfortunately, I don't know of any way of issuing a command to declare what the front is, but again, you can just rotate it in the 3D Builder or whatever 3D modeler you use. So we're just gonna take this and drag this into the scene. And I just wanna point out that using 3D Builder, when you make an object of the OBJ type, it is huge, and so you have to reduce the, the scale factor. So I reduced it to 0.1. I also pre-created a couple materials just so we can color the cannon and color the player differently to make it easier and more distinctive. And I'm also going to add ground under this, again, so it's easy to see that motion is happening. So let's go to Game Object, a 3D object, Plane. We'll slide that over, raise it up a little bit on the y-axis, and then we'll just scale this out like say four and four. The camera is already raised up and tilted down, so you can see it looking at the torrent. So let's just drop our blue mat onto the torrent. Now let's go ahead and create our player, game object, 3D object, cube. We'll raise that up a bit. And we'll put the green mat on that. And we'll just run this so you can see how it looks. So everything's pretty distinctive. Now it's important to note that rotate, the look at command will rotate this on every axis. So you have to be careful that if this is meant to be flat on the ground, if this is too high up, this the whole thing will rotate up. And you're not going to want that. So unless you specifically have designed it to be able to rotate like that, it would look wrong in this case because it has a flat bottom. So we really just want this rotating on the y-axis. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're just going to push this over here. So you can see that the torrent definitely is not facing that. So let's go ahead and create our script. Right-click, Create, c Shop. And we'll call this torrent con for torrent control. And we will click on our torrent. And we'll drag and drop our script. And we'll go ahead and open that up. You can get rid of the two remarks because this does not get executed. Or should I say they do not get executed. They're just there for internal documentation. Now what we have to do is we have to make the torrent aware of the um, player object. So public transform and we'll call this player obj, the player object. Then what we're going to do is we're going to in the update section say look at this object. So transform this time with a lowercase t. look at, oops, sorry, and it's player object. So pretty straightforward. This is the object that you want the torrent to be aware of, and then you're going to say, look at that object. Now what we do is we're looking at our torrent here. We have it selected, and you can see the player object variable now shows up. So what we're going to do is we take our cube, because we said that's our player, and we're going to put it there. So now, with every single frame, this should look at that. So let's see if it's working correctly. 
it is. You can see that it is now rotating towards it. So it was originally rotating this way, it's now facing this. So if this moves, since we have the, the look at determined every single frame or executed every single frame, because it's in the update section, this should now rotate and face the player. Even when in motion, I should say. So let's right click, create C sharp, and we'll call this player con, short for player control. Click on our cube, and we'll put our script on it. These components are all by default when you create a 3D object within Unity. So it has transform for position, rotation, and scale. Has the mesh so it can actually display the object. Has the collider and has the script that we just put on it. Has the mat that we put on it. But we're also going to add a rigid body because that's how you make an object move. So add component, physics, rigid body, get rid of gravity. And we're just going to have it move like this direction. So first of all, let's just move it out a little bit further. We don't want it colliding. And we're just going to have it move in a positive direction. So we already applied the player con script to the cube. Let's go ahead and open that up. Again, you can get rid of the remark commands if you want. In this case, we're just applying motion. And you can do this in the start section, actually, so it doesn't get applied every single frame. And so we just do get component, rigid body. And then velocity. And it's a vector 3 because it's the x, y, and z velocity that you have to apply to it. So x we said was going to be positive, so let's move it 2. We said it's not moving on the y-axis, and it's not moving on the z-axis. And that should actually do it. So this should now move in this direction, and since every single frame this is having the look at command executed, it should rotate to face this. Now, as you can see, we have a little bit of an issue and it's just something that you have to take care of when you're designing the object because the problem is the center of this object isn't the actual center. So in other words, rather than being stationary in place, it's rotating because the center is kind of off to the back here a little bit. And that's not really anything that we can fix in this particular tutorial. It's just something else that I wanted to mention is that certain things you take care of externally, certain things you take care of outside of the application. So the problem is that the center, like I said, is towards the back of this. So the back is the rotation point. There's ways you can take care of it, but I'm not too worried about it. As I said, I just really want to focus on the fact that the torrent is rotating. And then if you want, you could just like add a command where this is instantiating out a shot. And let's go ahead and do that. So let's create the projectile. So game object, 3D object, sphere. Let's just move that up and over. It doesn't matter because we're going to have a command that gives it a position with when it gets instantiated. But we will shrink the size. So let's make it 0 0.4, 0 0.4. 0.4. You can see that's about the size of the cannon, maybe slightly too big, but that's all right. So we need this object to be able to have velocity. So we're going to have to add a rigid body. So add component, physics, rigid body. We do want to apply gravity because what we're going to do is we're going to apply force. So it's going to shoot out, but then we want gravity to do the rest of the work for us. So that's fine. We want this to be a trigger, though. Because since it's being instantiated inside the torrent, we don't want it to have a solid collision with the torrent. We want it actually to be shot out. So now we just have to add a script that adds force to this. So right click, create, C sharp, shot con, click on our sphere, apply the shot, open it up. We can get rid of the, again, the remark. 
since they're not executed. So we simply want the shot to have force added to it when it's instantiated. So get component, rigid body, add relative force, and we're going to have it move at, let's make sure it's enough. So we don't want it to move on X. That's going to be handled by the rotation of the, uh, of the torrent. But we want to move up along the Y axis. So let's just do 400. And we want to move out along the Z axis because it's going up and out. Let's do another 400. And let's just see how that looks before we actually move forward. So we have our sphere. It's right there. We've applied force, and it should move it up and out. And it does. You can see it shoots out. Great. Probably a little bit too far in this case, but eh, let's trim it back a little bit. Don't want to nitpick too much about this, because this is really more of a look at demonstration as opposed to an instantiating and spawning demonstration, but this is really what you'd be using this for anyways. Okay, so now we need that shot to take into consideration the rotation of this and be spawned where this is located. So we'll take our sphere, we'll turn it into a prefab, and then we get rid of it from here. And then we go back into our turret con. We need to make the turret aware of that object, the shot, so public transform. And it's going to be, let's call it shot OBJ. And we want it to instantiate. So when we say spawn, we mean instantiation. So instantiate. What needs to be instantiated? The shot object. Where does it need to be instantiated? At transform.position. That is the position of the object the script is attached to. This script is attached to the torrent. So in other words, take the position of the torrent and then uh, the rotation of the object this script is attached to. Again, this, uh, this script is attached to the torrent. So we want the rotation of this object. So we take our torrent and there's the shot object variable. And that should do it. There we go. So obviously it's being instantiated way, way too much. But you can see that it is doing like this rapid fire. So now it's just a matter of putting in a delay that you want it to only happen uh, at, a, at a certain amount of time. So if you want, I can show you how to do that, but uh, I have other demos with that already. So I think that should basically wrap this up. So now we've demonstrated how to take the look at command, apply it to, say, an enemy, such as a torrent. And then by using that, the torrent will follow the player and then whatever, shooting projectiles at the, at the player. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, but uh, I hope this was helpful. And if you want to see more, uh, please do a like and a comment. And that should do it for about now.